guys, what's going on? I am with my dad and my brother Jed and we just finished up with our first duck hunt of the season. We had an absolutely beautiful day out here, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> what is it? A bee. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's 629. There it is. Legal hunt. Legal hunt. Wow, that's a quiet start, isn't it? It's still so dark though. You know? What? It's still really dark. It is. <gasps> Dad! Did you see those, Dad? No. Did they fly in front of me? Flew in front of me. I haven't seen them up yet. There were two. And I was messing with my stupid straps and my waders. Jed. Jed. Did you get one? Yeah. Do you have your GoPro on? Yep. Here comes the rain. Do 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 do. Where's the rainbow? Where? See it? No, where? Where's the rainbow? See it? No. No. Get out of here. Where is it? Look look past those um, rafted ducks. Oh, I see it now. I only had like one chance to fire my gun. I thought it was a two, then I realized it wasn't. I had one chance at two at the very beginning, and I was taking off my stupid sh strap. And they were like decoying right in front of me. Really? Yeah. That one will haunt me forever. <laughs> I probably could have had a double. Jeez. That rainbow's getting brighter. Yeah, now I can see it. There's just no ducks flying by me. Dad. Dad coming at you. Nice shot, Dad. Thank you. Thanks for the warning. That looked like a shoveler. Uh, I, got, I think you're right. I'm going to go out and get it. That's my first shot of the day. No? First shot, first duck. Very quiet. Dad? Yeah? Where are you now? Dad, it's coming back. I'm behind you. Jed, clap! Jed, clap! Come on, you stupid duck, jump! Jed! There's a duck right in the decoys, but I don't want to shoot him until he gets up. Okay, there's two. That was two balance. Get it? Yeah. Nice. A ring neck. I got one, Dad. What'd you get? A ring neck. I was all the way out in front of the reeds, Dad. Yeah, trying to get him to get up. That's unusual. And he was just staring at me. That's unusual. Dad. Did you get one? Yeah. Nice job. Jen, your GoPro battery has to be dead by now. I didn't make a sound. 
Because I've already replaced mine twice. All right, so Jed has two ring necks already. My dad has one ring neck and one shoveler, and I have one ring neck. So that is a total of five ducks so far. Very slow morning. It's been drizzling on and off a little bit, but it's an absolutely beautiful morning out here. Dad, coming, coming through, Dad. Did you get it? Yeah. Nice job. Good job. That's your third, Dad? Dad? Dad. <laughs> your battery's at like 100%. You definitely did not film anything. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Feel this for one more second. Well, Jen, how's your hunt going? Pretty decent. Should be okay. So, how many ducks? Two so far? Two so far. Two ringers? Two ringers. Nice. I hope Look. he finds that third one. Look how deep of water I'm in. It's crazy. My sleeves are soaked. I have to hold them my as sleeves are soaked. high as I possibly can. That's what I'm doing. And then occasionally, when I haven't moved my arms in a while, it drops down further and further, and then I'm like, oh, I feel cold through my arms. Good luck. You too. Here comes the signal over behind you guys. Real low. Get ready, Jess. Get ready, Jess. <laughs> you got it, Jen? Nice. Nice job. What was it? Lots of ringers in this deep water. Thanks for the heads up, Dad. Crap. Yeah, buddy. It's getting pretty hot. Should we go? I haven't seen a bird in so long, I almost forgot what they look like. We are collecting our decoys now. And how was your hunt, Dad? Uh, my hunt was fine. The weather was gorgeous. I was with um, Brooke and Jed, so time spent with them is um, irreplaceable. Um, I only got I only got two ducks. I shot three, but couldn't find one. I seen exactly where it fell, and I went into the to the spot where it fell, but I couldn't find it. So I only got three ducks. I probably shouldn't be making fun, but I'm gonna make a little fun of Brooke. Because uh, if you can't, you know, when your when your hunting partner or buddy makes a nice shot, you tell them nice shot. But when they do something funny, it's it's fun to make fun. And Jed, Brooke, and I hunt far enough apart that we're all kind of shooting different ducks. And when I see ducks fly in front of Brooke, I'll say, Brooke. Did you see those ducks? And she'll say, yeah. And I'm like, why didn't you shoot them? And it's either, I was getting a new GoPro battery. Okay. Next flight of ducks landing in her deeks. Brooke, did you see those ducks? Yeah. Why, why didn't you shoot at them? I wasn't ready. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> none, of them, none of them landed in my decoys and I wasn't ready besides at the very beginning of the day. And then later she tells me, I don't like when they just fly in front of me and I'm not ready. I like when they're coming at me and I can get ready and bang. And uh, that's not the way duck hunting, you know, happens all the time. You, you know, you get, you get those shots, but today they were surprising her, surprising her time after time. And uh, she only killed one duck, but she only shot four times. And, and 
three of those four were, was that one duck. So she only shot at two ducks. She she had a lot of other opportunities. Not but. that many. You're making no. me sound real bad then. <laughs> I didn't have that many. We, none of us had a lot of opportunities today. I think I only fired my gun six times. Um, the first shot, I got a duck, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm good today. And then the next two was a pair of mallards, and I missed them. Um, then I got a shoveler, and then I shot one down, but... I didn't retrieve it, so that. But J Jed outshot us all today. I didn't have a great ratio, though. I probably shot 20 shells for four birds. So. I gave Jed a GoPro today. I told him the basics of how to use it. I was like, you press the button, it turns on. You press it again, it turns off. And I changed my GoPro battery three times today. And I'm like, Jed, on like the second battery, I was like. Has your GoPro not died yet? And he's like, nope, I haven't heard anything. <laughs> and I'm like, take it off your head and at least look at it. And he is so focused. See, this is where we're different. I'm like checking my GoPro. <laughs> and Jed won't even take the time to take his GoPro off his head to see if it's even recording. So he finally walks over to me and he's like, so? And I'm like, your battery's at 100%. You haven't filmed anything yet. <laughs> So we'll see what we have of Jed. I mean, I only shot one duck, so I don't know how much footage we're actually gonna have. It'll be interesting to see if you actually got any footage. <laughs> I think I got some. You might have shot one or two maybe wearing your GoPro. But yeah, I guess he just forgot to turn it on. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got today. One shoveler, six ring necks. Water's super deep, so the fact that we got all these ringers is not surprising. I think sometimes you can have good hunting days out here and sometimes you can just have bad slash slow days out here and I think I just had a slow day. <laughs> so just being out here, not a bad day, just a slow day, but we, we got seven ducks. That's going to make us a dinner. I, I had fun. As always, it was a ton of fun. It was absolutely beautiful out here. It did drizzle a couple times, but it didn't pour on us, so it wasn't too bad. It started out nice and cool in the morning, and now it's probably like 75, so it's not too shabby. Now we're gonna head in to the truck, load up the canoe, and then I will meet you guys in the kitchen to cook up these ducks. Welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight is actually my parents' anniversary. I believe it's their 29th anniversary. It's either the 29th or the 30th. And I actually kind of forgot about that before I invited them to dinner. So hopefully they like tonight's dinner, but we are doing something totally new. I've never done this before, but I'm going to make duck pierogies. Homemade pierogies, everything homemade. So we'll see how this turns out, but I am very excited because I think it's going to be really delicious. Now I'm also going to be serving it with some red cabbage, which is super easy to make. A great side dish, healthy, really yummy, and it's probably gonna look good alongside with the pierogies. So here is my duck meat of the seven ducks. I have chopped them into small, little, maybe half inch size little cubes. As you're thinking about this recipe, this is wild duck. This isn't your farm raised duck that has these giant breasts that are fatty and delicious. This is wild duck, small little breasts, barely any fat to it. They're very muscular birds. You know, they're migrating from up north, down south. So they're not the same kind of bird that you would be buying from the store. Now, when we got home from hunting, I put them in a saltwater brine and that's gonna bring out that blood and it's gonna make your ducks nice and moist and juicy. And when you brine it, just keep rotating the water out. You'll see it'll get really dark red. Take out that water. And this duck still looks pretty red, but believe me, it's a lot less red than it was at the beginning before the salt water brine. And now I'm gonna season it. Garlic powder. Pepper. Salt. Throw this baby up. So now 
now if you come over here, over here. <laughs> now, the first thing I did was I cooked um, one pack of butcher box bacon. So we're going to use that bacon oil to cook two um, yellow onions nice and diced up. Now, remember, like I said, this duck doesn't have any fat, so we want that bacon grease and that bacon fat for our duck. All right, so over here I have Victor being my dough boy. He is making the dough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> He's making the dough for the pierogies. And I've tried a bunch of different duck recipes because duck is something that a lot of people find hard to enjoy. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like duck. They've tried a bunch of different recipes and they don't like it. So. I have actually enjoyed all of the recipes that I've tried. So if you guys wanna try something different, I will have different videos linked down below. I've done duck tacos, which were literally like the best thing I think I've ever made. Our go-to recipe that we always used to do, like before we did anything else, was this just one recipe that was like, I think my very first video I ever even made. So that's a throwback for that one. That one's just like bacons and on bacon and onions. And then there's another one, duck poppers, jalapeno duck poppers, absolutely delicious. Progies is something random and different, but that's what I wanna do. I wanna try something different and show you guys that you can enjoy these different kinds of things in different ways, you know? Get out of your comfort zone, try something new. Take that duck out of the freezer and try something different. And one other thing, a lot of people don't like to eat ringnecks and they also don't like to eat shovelers. Those two ducks are probably the lower ducks on the totem pole, you know, everyone loves their mallards. Everyone loves their teals. Um, I've heard many times people say that they're trash. They've tried cooking it a bunch of different ways and haven't found a way to enjoy it. So that's what we're trying today. Just straight ringers. I've ate ringers before. I like them as long as you cook them properly. So keep that in mind that some people don't think that these ducks are good. All right, so we've had our onions going for a little bit. They are nice and tender, beautiful and brown. Now time to add our duck. Um, this does not take a long time to cook, so that's why we wanted to cook the onions first. And the duck's gonna turn like a brown color when it's finished. You know, dough boy just working hard, kneading that dough. I've been demoted after nine years of being together. I'm just officially the dough boy. <laughs> that's what I get, guys. That's what you got to look forward to. I don't think that is a negative thing. No, it's that's I a pretty know. important part. I guess if the dough isn't it. bad, it's all your fault. <laughs> this is true. I, I'm not a duck hunter, so that's her department. But just like with fish, it's all about how you cook it. You know, if you don't like it one way, certain species are good one way, but you might have to mask the flavor of something a little bit in order to enjoy it. But if you're gonna shoot it, respect it and eat it because there's no way to, no better way to respect an animal than to actually take it home and eat it, not just kill it for fun. Good point, Vic. Okay, so the duck is probably close to like a medium well, I'd say. Not completely cooked all the way, it's a little bit pink in the center. And now we're gonna put these babies in this um, bowl just so they can cool down a little bit before we start to make the progies. So as the dough was resting, we also had the um, duck cooling down and I kept all those juices so it would reabsorb and it reabsorbed a lot of it. So you're gonna get that nice, good, juicy flavor. And let me tell you, I've tried a few of these and they are absolutely delicious. So now I'm gonna try to just drain whatever excess juice is in this pan, in this bowl, and just add it to this other bowl. And then we're gonna add the bacon and then we're gonna start doing our pierogies. As you can see, we got the dough rolled out. Now we're adding in the bacon. I am so freaking excited. How about you, Vic? Mm -hmm. I love pierogies. I've already tasted the duck by itself. Not even with adding bacon. Bacon makes everything better, so I know that this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So we're cutting circles, taking our filling, putting it in. And then a key thing is make sure that your dough is constantly well floured, otherwise you're gonna have some issues with it sticking. So I take it, I fold it like that into a half circle, take your fork, 
press down at the edge and it's going to seal it and it's going to give your pierogi that signature outer edge. Now I didn't think we had enough dough so we're loading these up so they're like ginormous. <laughs> Alright so like I said first time doing this but let me show you what we got going on so far. So we've done a couple already and we have boiling water and what we're going to do first there's a couple in there already put them in the boiling water after they boil for like five minutes take them out and then eventually i'm going to pan um like fry them in some butter to give them that nice brown color there was our first couple batches check those babies out looking much better so i'm just letting them boil for a couple minutes taking them out Okay, so now we have a hot pan with some butter in it. And now to fry these babies up a little bit and get them that nice crispy, crispy brown outside. Hey, I gotta say something. They look like, they look like real pierogies. They look good. judge a pierogi because I'm Slovakian. That's in Eastern Europe and we know our pierogies. These pierogies might be the best pierogies I ever had. Wow. Duck, pierogi, duck pierogies, they gotta be a thing. They gotta go on a menu because these are seriously amazing. What do you think over there, Dad? They're real flavorful. It's a good way to eat duck. My dad likes to say that, you know, everyone's upset when we shoot a bunch of ringnecks, but they cooked up just fine and it's, like you said, really flavorful, just packed with a lot of flavor. It's so good. No, like everyone was saying, those pierogies are killer. Definitely the best pierogies I've ever had. Super salty. I recommend. I don't go duck hunting with them as much as I should, but the duck is very tender. Yeah. Um, it's not gamey or chewy whatsoever this way. It's really good. What do you think, Mom? Worth the effort. I know it took you a long time to do the dough and everything, but it's so good. Thanks. I know it's hard to make ducks taste good. I was ready to quit duck hunting because years and years ago I couldn't find a good recipe and they were building up in my freezer and I thought, oh, I gotta quit duck hunting. Brooke did it. Everybody here just kept going back for seconds and uh, we ate them till they were all gone. They were, they were good, so she's got a good recipe there. All I know is those pierogies have inspired me to want to shoot better and mm -hmm. get more ducks, so we'll see. All right, guys, so I would give these duck progies a 10 out, out of 10. 10. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. They were so flavorful. The duck was as tender as could be. Highly, highly recommend doing it. I couldn't have done it without Vic. There is a lot of steps going into it, so make sure if you're going to try this recipe, just have that in the back of your mind that there are a lot of steps. Yes. But so, so delicious. Yes, and I think duck is a perfect ingredient to use for the pierogies. It's just, it's got that like savory flavor with the dough, you know? Duck is just, it goes it goes very well together. I was even saying to Vic, I was like, do we need like a sauce or something for it? No. But you did not. Like, Nothing. It didn't need anything else. It was so good. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have at least two more hunts this year, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those. I know this one didn't have that much action in it, but I hope 
fingers crossed the next one has more and wish me luck in the next hunt that I do a little bit a little better than I did in this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.